Alright everybody, just sort of do a quick video on something uh, I don't think I've done anything on before. When I had my big conifer tree to cut down, um, I went out and bought an electric uh, pole chainsaw. I bought this, picked this up second hand off eBay. I think I paid £35 for it. Uh, the brand is Titan. This one you can actually pick up on Screwfix. I've just looked to see they still do it. It was only a couple of months back. It was down to about £45. But I've just had a little look online now. And I've gone up in price by about a tenner. Uh, we're at £54.99 now. Uh, you can get a petrol version of this as well with one of them multi changeable heads where it's a uh, chainsaw, hedge cutter and general kind of bush cutter for when you got your overground gardens. Now I've got to say this thing I have been extremely impressed with. I've done a absolute load of cutting in my own garden and I took it to work with me. I work at a school and we got loads of trees there and loads of them were overhanging in places that were virtually impossible to get from a ladder and I have seriously cut a ton of branches with this thing and I just recently gave it its first um, sharpen on the, the chain itself. Uh, the head on it itself, the chain is 8 inches, uh, 20 centimetres. So you can do some fairly thickish branches with it and if you have to go around it cutting from various angles to work your way into the centre I've, I've cut some proper sized trunks on this now that's it's extendable now it is six foot in the closed position like that and to extend it all you do is you Give this a uh, lock in section. There you go. There you go. That just twists and unlocks. And then the pole literally just grab the head and it will pull out. There you go. Sit there in a second. So it's now fully extended, which brings it up to, I'm not sure what it is actually, I've never measured it. So let's see what we are in the fully extended position. Okay, that brings us give or take a fraction brings it up to nine foot so that is a fair old length uh, I use this on my conifer and my trees at the side doing it from the ground to be initially and then was standing on a ladder but got to a point where it's getting a little bit dangerous obviously when it's in the fully extended position like that then obviously if you're reaching up high you do feel the weight of it a little bit it's not massively heavy but obviously as you can imagine when it's fully extended you'll cut through a branch and then as it goes through it then suddenly the weight will just suddenly drop so not, not a problem on the ground but if you're taking a few chances like I was and being five foot up a, up a ladder lent against a tree and doing it then you've got to be careful but this has been a bargain and considering it was second hand when I got it so I don't know how much work it done previously but it's been faultless so far it's got a 750 watt motor uh, soft soft trees it goes through like uh, a hot knife through butter and I've got beech trees in my garden as well which I've been cutting they're a lot tougher beech is a hardwood but even with them it has it has gone through them no problem I'm just about to go out and do a little bit of chopping so I'll try and get some footage 
I haven't got much more that I can actually reach from the ground because I've already done a large amount of it but I've got some thickish stuff on the floor I can cut now if you look at just to the right I don't know how well this is showing up but you can see where you've got the bit going up to the left and then that bottom piece I've cut there and that is a good thickness that is and it went through that pretty well so what I'm going to try and do, I've got my climbing gear out, I want to actually try and get up that tree where are we? camera's getting funny well, basically I want to try and get up that tree and take off some of the top parts, thin it out a bit and then my mate's got a proper chainsaw and I'm going to try and take that that one down completely that give me quite a bit of light so, so I'll try and get a little bit of footage so you get an idea of how it works but if you're, if you're in the market for something like this uh, I very highly recommend this one for considering it's electric it has been working a treat so same as any chainsaw you have to put chainsaw oil in there so that's simple just pour a bit in there you've got a little Ewing glass on the side to see how much oil you've got in there right I shall go do a little bit and I'll get that on camera for you. Catch you later. About four inches. Guys, this is a um, beech tree, which is a very hard wood, so it does take a bit of going through, but it's a very tough wood.
guys, that's about oh, just under six inches. So, a very tough wood beach. So, that's why we well, not exactly struggling, but it takes a bit of time. And it's had a little bit of a funny angle to how it was at the ground. So, that, that works best when you're actually, as its su name suggests, it's a pole saw for reaching stuff. It works better when you're actually up in a straight line rather than down low to the ground trying to cut at an angle when it's kind of like at its lowest setting it's six foot long so works a lot better when you're actually reaching up and getting stuff but it works really really well I've actually I think I've got about as much as you can actually reach now or I'd do a little down out of a couple of little bits but I'm going to actually use them to when I'm climbing trim the top ones. That's the one I want to get, this end one. That's actually the one tree that breaks into two. Now that's like the full width for behind this. Uh, that little saw did go through that. So, if you're in the market for something like that, it is, it's definitely worth having. I say when you're up close like that, the way I was then, you know, sort of working at an angle trying to do it, it, it's a little bit awkward because the thing is sort of like six foot long, it's, you can use it like that. But for that sort of thing, then you would obviously be better off using a, a kind of traditional chainsaw. But it's a quick demo for you just to see how it works, and uh, we'll get that loaded up. So, give you an idea if you're looking for that type of thing. Bye for now.